I love those dear hearts and gentle people who live in my hometown because those dear hearts and gentle people never ever let you down they read the good book from Friday till Monday that's how their weekend goes I put a dream house I'll build there one day with picket fence and rambling rows I feel so welcome each time that I return that my happy heart keeps laughing like a clown What are you guys working on? What are you doing to the bumpkin? Uh, We're taking bumpkin, bumpkin seeds. seeds. For what? Yeah. So we can bake them and eat them. Well, what are you going to do with the pumpkin? Carve them. Uh, carve them. her back. She took her glasses off her face from behind her back. No, I am not blind without my glasses. <laughs> 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 and these are my sisters, Katie, Joe, Macy, and Bagel. Oh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> so we bought these, uh, bought these little hay bags that, uh, that Kind of helps regulate the, how much hay that we're giving the horses and the cows. I got I got a couple of hay over for the cows too. They're really enjoying it. I was told that you know it's important that um, that they work a little bit for their hay. You can see them, they have to you know they can grab it and pull it out. They kind of they, they got to work a bit for it. There for them. So we'll see. I'm kind of curious to see how. How this all turns out with these new hay bags. John's out here working on the bus. That's probably what you heard in the background. But this is our travel bus. Um, I'll take a quick look. I don't think he's out here, so. So of course, the standard step up here. That's where I spent most of my time right there was driving this bad boy. I probably, I probably drove this thing 4,000 miles already. Which is more than I put on my motorcycle. But anyway, you can see we took out uh, all the bench rows here. Um, so we can put a couple of nicer chairs from an old conversion van type thing. Uh, made a row of chairs that way over here too. So they're all secured in to the their bolted all the way through the bus or all the way through the floor 
Um, this isn't our normal setup. This is our putting it away for winter setup. So we got all the all the fabric stuff put in bags and such like that. But anyway, I can give you a little tour. We did our own little uh, wiring job. We took a, a old unit off another camper that some somehow we got. And anyway, it was useful for parts. Um, we made a full kitchen sink. Uh, huge water reservoir there it's got a little electric pump to get this thing going um all the way back to even a bathroom um we can squeeze in here um we, should, we just have a little portable toilet that uh, fits into that uh, box and it's a, it's a it's a functional toilet it doesn't it doesn't flush like it's not like one that we don't have a, a septic holding tank which is has come in very handy sometimes um, when we've been out, especially during COVID. And they're like, "Hey, we keep, we have campsites available, but you can't you can't pump any sewage here and use any of the water here." So we're like, "All right, well, we're covered. You know, we're set for that." Super excited to have my Pro Cut grinder finally delivered. This is when we get the job done. If I went any bigger, I would have to have a two, 220 outlet. So this was the biggest, the biggest one that would work with a 110 plug. This client uh, wants his stuff mixed into a bratwurst. And so I'm going to show you the process of going through that. He delivered his meat here to me. He said it should be exactly eight pounds of deer trim. So that's great. So what I do to that is I add, I add four pounds, four and a half pounds of pork. And what that does is that brings it's up to 12 and a half pounds and the reason I do that is because it makes mixing the seasoning uh, you know if you have to split a recipe or double a recipe it's a lot easier when you're working with 12 and a half and 25 pound uh, batches right now I'm dumping out his meat into the hopper here his, ven uh, his venison this is just a hobby I like to do. I just, I love processing meat and pork. So I'm gonna kind of mix in, grabbing some of the fattier pieces. I'm kind of looking for, I mean, I use pork shoulder roasts. So uh, there's a lot of good, a lot of good um, fat in there. All right. This is the first run. So as I'm mixing here, I'll just kind of throw in a few pieces of, of the lean meat and then throw in a few pieces of the fattier meat and that'll just get it, get us to a good place to, to start. So here we go. Hunter's Select Gourmet Seasoning. And you can always just read the instructions on the back for how much to put in. I've done this quite a few times, so I know just how about how much to add. mixer you get a lot done it'll get it'll get a lot done in 
three or four minutes, but it's going to take me 10, 10 minutes or 12 minutes, including the wash up afterwards. So that bat right there is ready to go in the stuffer. Okay. <laughs> I love the 